But heat is a surprisingly important energy uh, vector. This is quite often we talk about electricity and coal and gas as the forms of energy we use. But in reality, actually, a lot of these, these forms of energy converted to heat before we actually use them for, for something useful. For example, heating spaces in our homes, heating water for our bathrooms, or, or even creating high temperature process heat for our industries. Now, in buildings, heat is extremely important because it forms about 50% of heat consumption. Heat's about 80% of non-transport energy consumption in the UK, and about half of that is actually used to heat water and spaces in our buildings. So addressing decarbonisation of that energy is actually extremely important. Now, now we're, we're interested in that because a number of studies across the board have shown us that actually a lot of cost-effective potential exists in the building sector for decarbonisation. For example, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports a very large potential economic um, CO2 reduction by, by decarbonising that sector. Well, a great deal of uh, recent studies have looked at how you decarbonise the UK's energy system. Um, now, there's some, some important cornerstones of that action. Firstly is decarbonisation of the power sector, so we reduce the carbon content of the electricity we consume. But alongside that is also electrification of the end uses of, of, uh, of energy. And important ones in those are transport and heat. So actually changes in the, in the economy, in the energy economy in relation to how we use heat are extremely important for meeting our, our long-term mitigation goals. Now, uh, an example of that is, is obviously buildings and there's a lot of things we can do there including improving insulation, changing the technologies we use and, and uh, changing the energy carriers we use to, to heat our homes. So, Importantly, at the moment, about, uh, about a quarter of greenhouse gas emissions come from the residential sector and at least half of that from heating in the residential sector. Now, even if we were to improve the efficiency of the way we heat our water and heat our homes, we would double that efficiency. In 2050, the CO2 emissions from the residential sector would still be a very substantial portion of the total allowable emissions from the UK as a whole. So this suggests we need to do a great deal in that sector in order to, to change the way we heat our homes and heat our water to reduce the carbon implications of that. There are a variety of ways to approach the problem of decarbonising residential heating. Now, the most important of those, the cornerstone of that action, is energy efficiency. It's reducing consumption of energy. And there are a variety of ways to do that. First and foremost, we need to improve the energy efficiency of our building stock. This means improving insulation levels, uh, reducing infiltration of cold air, and improving glazing and measures like this. Alongside that, it's also extremely useful to change the way we heat our homes and change our behavior. Uh, ideally to accept slightly lower temperatures inside buildings but wear heavier clothes indoors or to also improve the efficiency of the conversion technologies we use in our houses that's that's our boilers they just go from your an old boiler to a newer a rated condensing boiler it's an important way to just reduce consumption but in the longer term we really need to think about more radical change in the sector so over the next decades, next two decades approximately, we need to think about changing the technologies we use to heat our homes. And particularly in um, dense urban areas, we might consider district heating as an option where there'll be pipes running under the roads, similar to gas and electricity supply at the moment, supplying heat directly to our homes in order to, to give us that low carbon heat. Uh, another alternative is heat pumps, so using electricity to power a heat pump which delivers heat directly to our homes similar to, to a boiler at present. Uh, what, what is clear is that we cannot continue to heat our homes in the same way we do at the moment in the very long term. Uh, we need to decarbonise the fuels or decarbonise the energy we use to, to achieve that and we need to think about 
quite different options, including very different technologies and very different infrastructures.